What up, my dudes? Yo, first of all, let me give a huge shout out to Trent Shepard, the dude that made my bike right here, okay? I said I was going to give him a couple shout outs for uh, going in here and making this bike right here. That was on top of giving him some money for doing it as well. But, uh, you know, big shout out to him for doing this. I'm going to leave a link at the top right hand corner of this video it's going to be like a little they call it a card on youtube basically a clickable link that's going to pop up uh on the video right here it's going to take you to his youtube channel t shep media okay he's known for doing some edits on mx sim and shit but uh he made this entire bike right here um just want to make sure guys please go support the dudes that support me you know what i'm saying um and and are able to make really cool shit like this definitely go support him he, he he's making a lot of cool mx sim edits and he also makes bike skins hit him up for some bike skin stuff um so dude's name's trent shepherd t shep media on youtube like i say i'll leave a link to it right there leave a link to it down below in the description and uh i'll try to leave a link down below in the comment section too i don't know if it'll let me do that though because sometimes that's like against the fucking little code of conduct or whatever on youtube so uh but either way so yeah uh, i'm gonna be shouting him out in a few more videos just I just want to help out the guys that, uh, you know, do stuff for me. And that's really what it comes down to. Um, so, yeah. And I haven't forgotten about uh, the dude that made the helmet and stuff like that. I'll shout him out in a separate video and stuff like that. So, either way. Broom Dioga. Okay. Uh, 2019 replica track made by Talon Cohen. Maybe. Baby. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. But, uh, either way. Yeah, so first of all, um, is there a way to actually take off the, like when you're going on a replay of MX Simulator? Let, let me know down below in the comments if you guys know how to do this. Is there like a, uh, a code that you can put in to take off the text that's like showing the rider on a replay? Um, like an actual demo on MX Simulator. Some of you guys that really know MX Sim, definitely let me know down in the comments below how the hell do I, would I do that if I wanted to. Like, basically, if I wanted to take off the Spencer Turley at the bottom, you know what I'm saying, that text right there, how would I do that? Basically, like a hide rider text code. I don't even know if that's actually in the game or not, but if not, it needs to be put in there. I know that for sure, so... Um, either way, it didn't even used to be like that in the game back in the day until JLV did an update to where it was like that in the replay mode. It used to only do it when you were spectating somebody, but now it does it when you go back in there on a replay. So um, I just think it'd be cool to have an option to turn it off or on if you wanted it off or on. Uh, pretty necessary to have that in the game, I would I would assume so. So, either way, uh, yeah, so this is actually a AMA national track, like, way back there. Um, well, I say way back there, it's probably not way back there to everybody, but, um, yeah, so, you can kind of tell, still got some reminiscences of the, uh, like, AMA vibes and shit like that going on here with, like, the... Just kind of the way some of the uh, overhangs on the track, stuff like that are. Uh, but it's this is definitely not trying to be like an AMA track. This is more replicating the 2019. I know some people were probably wanting more of like a true old school Broom Tioga from the fucking real life pro racing or something. That roughness, though, bro. It's not like the roughness is really hard on this track. It's just kind of... You'll be like on a perfectly smooth area and then all of a sudden it'll go to like these really small close together choppy bumps sick backflips Spence. Uh, definitely professional <laughs> but like for real you'll go from like these you know really like smooth areas and all of a sudden it's like roughness and you can't really see it that good. Um, so yeah that's a little bit of an issue but other than that I know uh, home dog said in the actual post of this track right here um, that it, it uh, starts getting better with the road. I don't give a shit about that, as you guys know. I don't care about riding with the road in single player because it's basically pointless, basically useless as the tits on a boar hog, you know what I'm saying? But uh, either way, try to j angle jump that all the way to the end of the rollers. I don't really know if you can even jump that, but either way. So one big uh, sort of negative to this track right here that I can tell in a lot of different areas is... Let, let me show you what I would have done to have made it like instantly 10 times better. Okay, just a little, just a little track making tip right here. 
Um, let me see if it'll even let me do this when I'm looking at this in a demo. I'm not sure if it'll even do this, uh, if it'll even let me do this at all. So what you needed was a little bit of uh, like lowering on the track to actually make it the track. There's so many of these areas where the on track and the off track is the exact same height. So it, it gives it this real bizarre, let me, let me actually get over there to it to show what the hell I'm talking about here. It, it can make a track feel so unrealistic when it has this sort of, like this perfectly smooth, right? In the on track and off track, there's no like change of terrain. There's no real like raised up border of the off track. You know what I mean? There's nothing there. And it's not to say that you have to have a big border, just a just a little bit to be like the track being dug down. You know what I mean? Most time, real life tracks, the on track is actually sort of dug into the ground a little bit. And, and it's such a big trick to making tracks on MX Simulator. Even if you have a flat area or a smooth area, you still want to lower it just a little bit. Um, and it's okay to have like one or two areas that aren't like that if you want to have that, but there's a lot of spots in this track that just aren't like that at all. Okay, so let me see if I can even do this. I don't even know if it's going to let me um, in the playback like this. Let me see. Let me just lower it right down through here. Okay, something like, I'm just doing this one section right here just to kind of show this off. Uh, smooth that out a little bit. Okay, so... Okay, let me smooth this just a little. You don't need a lot, just a little, right? Damn, baby, all I need is a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And look at, and you can obviously smooth a little bit more if you want to, but I'm telling you, when you have a track that's like this versus, you, you can see it on the border. It kind of borders the off track. You know what I'm saying? So it kind of keeps you in bounds on the track and makes it feel like an actual track. Whereas when you go in there and have these like perfectly flat where it's like from the borders of the track, it's completely flat, like border of the track and then off the track is all one thing, you know what I mean? Perfectly flat. It, it loses a sense of the, the realism and the, the feeling of being on a track. You just kind of feel like you're riding on a random off track grass surface or some shit, you know what I mean? I don't know. I'm just saying like this right here, ten, nine times out of ten looks way better on a track than like all this type of shit over here. And that's something you can do very easily. Very easily. And you can still have all of your sections on the track too. All of your roughness is still going to work. All of your everything. I mean, literally, I could go through here. Let me, let me try to do this really quickly so that I don't take up too much time. But just a couple little, that's just a little, little quick trick, quick MX simulator specific track making tip right there. If you're getting too many of those super smooth flat, like areas and it doesn't really feel like a track it just feels like you have decals on a flat area or like a decals on a random area it doesn't feel like you're down in a track all you got to do is go in there and lower it like one whoops i'm smoothing go in there and lower it like i say like one like this i'm just going to do kind of a rough it's not going to be quite perfect right there it's going to be a little too wide but that's okay um let me try to I'm just going to see if I can even do this around the whole track. Just a little tip to some of you guys. And it's not to say that you have to use this technique. There's quite a few people that don't use this technique. But even if you do do this, even if you don't want there to be like a big border right on the off track, even if you don't want that to be raised up a lot, you can still go in there and smooth the, the borders of it quite a bit. As long as it has a little bit. You know, because most real life tracks, the on track is disked up and actually dug down in the ground a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Most of the time, and a real life on track is not going to be this like bizarre, same exact, you know, elevation as the off track. A lot of times it's bare, the on track's barely a little bit down in the ground. So just a little track making tip. You know what I'm saying? You can use it if you don't want to use it. And it's it's really simple. That's what I'm saying. It's not difficult to come in here and do this. But we'll see what, what the hell the track looks like once I... And this is like obviously super quickly just coming in here trying to do a little rough draft of this real quick. This is obviously not really like really, really doing this like I should be. But 
whatever. Then go in here and smooth that. That's going to create a little bit of roughness right there, but that's okay. Um, so, like, you know, it, it would take a little more time for me not to smooth some of these ruts and shit, but, like, you know, I could, like, get on this outside. Let's go, like, 150. Wow, I'm like, dude, I need to do, I need to start a series on videos where you guys submit your tracks and I like make it into a better track. That would be badass, dog. I need to do that. I know a couple of people's kind of requested that in the uh, previous years before, but shit, I don't care. I'm just gonna fucking let's just smooth this all. So it doesn't have quite the the uh, raised up on the edge filling. So, just rough drafting this puppy real quick. Okay. So, now, we play this back. Uh, 77. Okay. Whoops. I didn't, need, I didn't do it on the start. My bad. I'll fast forward that. Okay. So, now check this shit out. Right? You remember how everything was real smooth? Everything was real, like, flat looking? Of course, some of the objects are going to be a little off. But look how much better this shit looks, dog. And all you had to do was go in there and lower the on track just a little bit. See how it's creating that natural border on the side? Even if it's a little bit off the actual border of the on track, in some of those areas where I made it a little more wide, lowered a little bit wider than the on track, it still looks good. Even if it's off of the border by a little bit. Like, it's insane. This is such a big trick and tip to making custom tracks you want to and that's what i see very commonly with a lot of beginner track makers in this game they will go in there and just place their decals down on some like random surface random height surface elevation whatever and they don't ever lower down the on tr on track any so then it just creates this very bizarre smooth unrealistic and it's okay to have smooth sections but it creates this uh very unrealistic border of the track flatness and uh it kind of kills some of the realism vibes so either way right there you uh, i mean i basically just instantly made your track twice as good just by doing that uh literally i mean literally i know and then that like i say you could come in here and touch some of the shit up and like smooth a couple areas obviously some of the objects you'd have to replace them because when you go in there and lower where like a spongebob is or one of the little uh the little off track border stick thing the little yellow bullshit stick things stripper poles and shit like that um you have to replace them so they go back to the ground instead of they'll kind of float if you go in there and edit something on it. So, yeah, either way, uh, Spencer Turley track making tips 101, you know what I'm saying, boys? So either way, this that's not even the actual track. So let me go back to the original and I'll kind of show you the difference here. Okay, here we go. Back to the original version. And you can see precisely what I'm talking about. <laughs> um See the more kind of basic-y on the border of the track? And then right here, you're very tempted to accidentally kind of go off the track, whereas when you have a little bit of a board, actually raised up border to it, it seems like it just funnels you and keeps you on the track more. You feel like you're down, down on a track instead of just on this random surface with random decals, you know what I mean? Like, gives it more of a real track feeling. But anyways cool fall vibe trees in the background a um, couple of the jumps can be pretty fun you can tell this is one of those little bit more beginner design tracks right here you can just tell by a couple of things like a couple of the jump faces you could tell he went in there with the smooth tool and just smoothed the shit out of it which hardly ever works on jump faces that's another little tip a little quick beginner track making tip you want to be real careful when you go in there with your gradient tool and you actually make a good jump face. You don't want to go in there and overly smooth it or you will lose the actual, the the face. There, there's something weird in this game when you start actually smoothing like true enough jump faces. It creates this weird rolled off. Like if you want to create a smooth jump face, make it in the gradient. Don't rely too much on the smooth tool because it will jack up the entire feeling of the jumps without you even realizing it. You know what I mean? You want to really um, make most of the jump face itself in the gradient. Like if you want it more smooth, then get the dots closer together. You know, the little dots when you're making your jump from the side view, get them closer together. See how smooth, see this like, you could tell basically what he did here was, um, let me see. So you could tell right here, he basically came in here with a gradient, right? Built his tabletop, like a normal tabletop. 
Uh, yeah, he's got some random gradients right here. So that's probably what he did right there, but he just moved them over or some shit. Anyways, he made his tabletop right here with the gradient and then went back over it and like smoothed it like, you know, one or two over the whole fucking thing. So it gives it this really weird, like, it, like every bit of the jump is smooth. The jump face is the same smoothness as the side of the jumps and the same smoothness as the landing of the jump. You see what I'm saying? It gives this really weird, like everything's smooth on the entire thing, which you don't necessarily want on the face itself. You see how weird that looks? Like that, the face is just as smooth as the side of the jump. That doesn't make any sense. You, you want to keep your edge on the jump face right here. You know what I'm saying? You can smooth the side, but you want the face to keep it, because if you don't, it's going to kind of feel like you're hitting this random, natural, fucking, like, rolling, random, natural, rolling hill versus an actual motocross jump. That And that's what quite a few of these jumps feel like. You feel like you're hitting, like, these rolled-off natural hills versus an, an actual motocross jump face. This one right here is a little bit better. You can kind of see he he didn't smooth this one quite as much, <clears throat> so it's not doesn't quite have the detrimental effect as that other one. But this one right here is pretty smoothed off. Still got a decent decent face to it though, you know. Um, but that one in particular, that's that's just you don't need to do that. Some people have that theory in their head, like, let me go in here and make my whole entire motocross track and then just smooth everything by like one. And you never want to do that because you're, you're jacking up your faces, man. It, it's always better to create as much of it as you can in the gradient tool and the gradients versus going in there and like, like making it and then trying to smooth over top of what you made. You know what I mean? So you got to be real, real weary of that and aware of that. But um, either way, cool, a uh, couple different like off track decals, some random grass and random areas kind of gives it some variation to the off track, the cool fall trees, like I was saying, epic backflips all day long. Um, so yeah, uh, skybox is okay, I guess. Um, so yeah, this is kind of more, you know, somewhere along more of the vibe of like the beginner esque amateur type track maker uh broom tie yoga here so yeah i hope i gave you some valuable uh track making tips i'm not saying i'm the best track maker ever just a couple things i've learned over the you know 100 plus custom track full-blown custom tracks that i've made in this game and all the, sh the time i've spent on it and the things i've learned uh, there's just a couple things you figure out like that but uh cool little fence right there so he tried to kind of give it a, a little bit of an official vibe, a couple little like official type objects, but not a crap load, you know. Uh, so it kind of kind of creates this almost like amateur local vibe, maybe amateur national track at some point type thing going on. I don't really know exactly, but got a hell of a hill right here with a couple ruts in it here and there. Um, but yeah, there's a couple super flat areas smooth areas and all of a sudden you'll have like little bitty roughness and then it'll go from like ruts and then you'll have like no ruts so a little bit of inconsistencies as far as the, that side of the track in an overall sense but you'll be careful coming down that hill right there you'll overshoot that shit for sure if you're not careful but overall not a not a terrible terrible track just uh just more beginner vibe, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, overall, probably going to give this puppy like a, like a six. Give this thing like a six overall. And I'm going to say the difficulty is probably easy. So, yeah, either way, boys, I uh, appreciate all the support. Don't forget, go check out Trent Shepard, T Shep Media on YouTube. And uh, I'm sure you could comment something down below if you wanted him to make a bike for you or something like that he'd probably reply to you so if you're interested in getting a bike that that looks anything like this um he can probably do it for you so yeah man he's a hell of a edit and bike skin maker in the game so definitely go give him a little hoot hoot for your boy gotta support hey man we gotta support the guys that uh been uh making shit for me for sure so definitely go uh hit him with us hit him with a little sub hit him with a little a uh, little view on a video or something like that. Do something for the guy. 
You know what I'm saying? He put some work in on this bike right here for sure. We went through uh, went through the ringer getting this thing like I wanted it and uh, came out pretty good, dog. Like, come on, dog. Come on, dog. Look at that shit. Come on, dog. Oh, and he did put the decals on the gear as well. Forgot about that. Um, so all this shit, that he put all this on the gear. I was literally in there with him. He was screen sharing, and I was uh, in there on Discord looking at everything that he was doing when he was making the bike. We went through like two, three days of work to get it to look like this. So a lot went into it, but uh, definitely worth it. And uh, yeah, uh, go check out his channel, man, for sure. Either way, appreciate you guys watching all the videos. Later, dude.